So I'm here with Greg Archuleta, who's a member of the Confederated Tribes of Grand Ronde, and also a wonderful artist. Okay. So I wanted to ask you, how did you get your start as an artist? I started probably fairly seriously, probably in the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. And pretty much since then, just kind of been developing and um, primarily doing, focusing on the art of the Columbia River, um, Western Oregon, um, working with Greg Robinson and, and teaching uh, the art form. Um, so that, that started, we started the classes in 2005 mm -hmm. here in the Portland area. Wonderful. You work in various mediums. Um, I'm admiring your the wood carving on your necklace and then also your wonderfully detailed, beautifully done um, basket woven hat. Uh, so you talk a little bit about the different mediums that you work in. Yeah, so um, we work with carving, um, as I mentioned, the Columbia River art form, primarily the art form of the um, Western Oregon traditional art forms. Mm -hmm. And then um, also do uh, basketry, um, again, of, of Western Oregon, focused on the Western Oregon uh, basketry styles. Mm -hmm. And that's both traditional and contemporary, like the cedar hat is more contemporary. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll do a lot of work in, in those those areas in art design. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about um, what your artwork, um, what you're trying to say with your artwork. I think the primary is that the reason that started the LifeWays classes was because there was so little, uh, very few opportunities um, tied to Western Oregon, uh, the traditional art forms from this area, which included the Chinookan people that lived here in the Portland area, the Kalapuyo people, the Willamette Valley, and then we have tribes at Grand Ground from Southern Oregon, including the Umquas and the Rogue River Shasta. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some Tillamook people, Malala people. So all those um, tribes from Western Oregon were pretty underrepresented in the art forms that you see today. And um, so I wanted to kind of focus and emphasize and bring back some of those um, styles and practices. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of what we've been working on and our classes are uh, initially were primarily um, tied to tribal members um, and then here in the Portland area um, there was few opportunities and so we wanted to provide something up here in the Portland area mm -hmm. um, as well as then um, um, tying into what was happening at Grand Round and then we were able to actually then go to different places like Eugene and Salem also and provide classes. Mm -hmm. and then we had the opportunity to, to um, work with the Northwest Indian College. And so we became more intertribal, mm -hmm. uh, opened up the classes and we've been that way ever since. And then um, we, um, so we kind of do a foundation of kind of some basic techniques, mm -hmm. but if a person's from a different tribe, then we really want them to kind of build their schools skills working with their specific tribe, tribe yeah. that they are. That's so, really wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. And we've had some neat success with that. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so what are um, some of the themes and issues that you find yourself pursuing in your own personal work? Uh, my artwork, I'm in my family, I'm tied to the Clackamas Chinook Cascades or Lala Chinooks and uh, Willamette Tumwaters. In my family, we had village there at West Lynn at the falls there. So mm -hmm. we're very focused on the Chinookan people of this area and then the, the Kalapuya Shasta um, mm -hmm. tribes that I'm connected with. Mm -hmm. And so kind of focus on those. A lot of it focuses on the Columbia River. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's really place-based, just focused on place. And um, there's a lot of uh, art that came from this area. Mm -hmm. um, the, Chinookan people did a lot of basalt carvings, mm -hmm. and so a lot have been found in this in this area. Mm -hmm. um, you have wood, which not as much has survived, but wood carving was, was fairly common. Bone antler pieces and even clay mm -hmm. uh, from this area, ceramic pieces from this area. So we try to work with those um, those kind of medium. Primarily here in the classroom, we do wood wood 
-hmm. we'll do printmaking tied to art design and building their carving skills, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then we do the basketry, um, and that's pretty broad. We work with a lot of different materials. Uh, cedar is pretty common, but we also work with um, uh, roots like spruce root and pine root. Mm -hmm. um, we work Local. with sweet grass, mm -hmm. which is a sedge triangle um, sedge that comes from the the um, freshwater saltwater areas. Mm -hmm. So yeah. different materials like that. Yeah, and try yeah. to focus on local yeah. materials. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And then we do both um, um, do some of the traditional kind of styles, but a lot more, and then a lot of contemporary kind of pieces also. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Um, so, uh, tell me a little bit about about your process. What I like to do, <clears throat> I'll give an example, like in the basketry is. For instance, uh, people come to class and say, I want to I make a hat. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, that's good, but I usually want them to build their basic skills for that. So learning to work with the cedar, mm -hmm. um, how to prep it. There's the process of gathering it, mm -hmm. uh, which you, you gather the cedar bark. Um, usually you're gathering a year ahead of time. You let it set for the year, and then you're ready to begin working with it. So then you got to learn how to split it. Um, or for thickness and and for width and so giving them those skills to learn how to work with it and how the cedar uh, behaves when you're weaving with it um, things like that um, mm -hmm. so we give them some simpler kind of things to kind of make and stuff so they and then just really build them from there yeah. and then the other thing is that we in our classes they're open we don't say we do we don't do six weeks of of say carving a bowl but um, we let people really focus on the interest areas they have. So if they want to focus on carving, they can focus on carving, build mm -hmm. their skills in carving. Or if they want to do basketry, they can focus on basketry and build their skills there. Mm -hmm. And then some will switch switch to do a little bit of carving for a while and then do some basketry. Yeah. Um, so, so like that. So it's not really a structure. It's really them working at their pace and, mm -hmm. and their interest areas. Yeah, and it sounds like a more exploratory process. Yeah, for them. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, what has been your favorite project to work on? My favorite project, mm -hmm. <laughs> primary probably. I like the working with the art design and carving. I think, mm -hmm. and then myself, I had do a lot of other stuff, so I don't get to spend my full time carving or mm -hmm. doing the art form. Um, but uh, when I can, that's usually what I like to kind of focus and but I do a, a big variety um, when we do the classes Greg pretty much focuses on the carving element and I'll do the basketry part mm -hmm. um, and um, and then we tie um, for the basketry we'll do, actually go out and do the gathering of the materials and things like that too with the classes and so mm -hmm. we take them out to different places and either gather the cedar or juncus or sweet grass the spruce root things like that Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, and gathering is very much part of the process. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. So, um, uh, I've heard you talk about connection to place as as part of your artwork. Will you talk a little bit more about your your personal connection and your cultural connection to this this place that we are in? You know, the Portland area, the Columbia River area. Yeah. So, as I was mentioning, the the art form. There's a lot of of art that came from this. From this area and it wasn't really you know they didn't have a term for art it was just part of the everyday living if they were making a basket or doing a carving it had a certain purpose or use um, things like that um, so I I just really like to focus on um, you know we don't recreate pieces but we take elements from the old art art form and then integrate them into what we're making today so there are certain kind of things that are kind of common in the art form such as uh, carving triangles, and it makes a zigzag kind of pattern. Um, the eyes, eye nose, um, have certain um, kind of regular features in a lot of art. And so kind of those common elements, the ribs that are portrayed in the, in the art form and things like that, skeletal form. Mm -hmm. um, so those kinds of things we, we use and kind of integrate into what we're, we're making today. Mm, kind of tie it to past practices yeah. as well as have yeah. your own 
personal right. take right. on it. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, thank you so much for for sharing all of your perspectives and also sharing um, about this these wonderful educational programs that you've been so so much a part of. Yeah. It's been okay. wonderful to hear about all of them. All right. Thank you. Thank you.